literally everyone and their moms is wearing bows in their hair. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So with the end of the year coming very soon, I felt like it was time to do my own best and worst trends of 2022. And before we even get into it, obviously, please take this video with a grain of salt. When I'm talking about the worst trends or trends I don't like, I truly just mean it on me Personally, if you love those trends, that is awesome. I'm just calling it best and worst because obviously the algorithm loves negativity and trends truly do not matter. Wear whatever makes you happy. Truly, I'm just doing this video because I think it's fun talking about trends and also, you know, everyone's different opinions, what I love, someone may absolutely hate. Trust me, I've watched a lot of trend videos of people basically roasting every single thing I wear. And yeah, I just think it's super interesting and it's cool to also look back on the past year and see what has become trendy and kind of all that, which when I was looking back on specifically 2022 fashion trends, I realized that maybe it's just me, but I felt like it was a little bland this year. I feel like now going into winter time, there's more like exciting ones, but really I feel like it's been pretty chill, which is probably good in the grand scheme of things when it comes to trends, micro trends, and like all of that kind of stuff. But there's definitely been some trends that popped up this year that have now, in my opinion, become part of my like core personal style. And I wanna just talk about it. So let's talk about the best and worst trends of 2022 in my opinion, but truly there's nothing really bad or like, I just can't help but do a bunch of disclaimers cause I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. So let's just get into it. <laughs> I figured we could start with the positives of uh, trends that I absolutely loved this year, which number one is not surprising, hair bows. I mean, come on, like literally everyone and their moms is wearing bows in their hair and I absolutely love it. I just love the creativity, the different kinds of bows, the DIYs that people are doing, also how inexpensive it is as well. You can get just normal ribbon and I feel like it really dresses up any hairstyle for me. I've had an interesting year with my hair and my goodness, braids and bows has saved me. Like I will continue to be wearing them, especially cause my hair is super fried and I'm trying not to like put too much heat on it. So you will continue to see the hair bows. And I feel like just wearing braids was always like, oh, this is kind of cute, but adding a bow just does something. And I love how bows have now gotten into different like categories of fashion. You have tights with bows. People are taking the ribbon that they put in their hair, putting it around their neck, putting it on different parts of their clothing. And I just, absolutely love it. It is also interesting in that during the 2010s, hair bows were also really trendy, but it was like the big bows that you would put in your hair. Think Bethany Moda. I remember I watched a Bethany Moda video on how to make a hair bow where you buy ribbon and then you like tie it into a bow and then you hot glue it onto one of those like hair clips that you get from Joanne Fabric. So it's been just kind of interesting how something like that has been kind of a trend now, but reimagined in a different way and I think you know trends always come back but not always as like a copy and paste more of an inspiration or a new take on it and I am going to be wearing hair bows forever I feel like it's gonna be like the puffy headband thing like do you remember when headbands that were super puffy were quite trendy in 2019 and then like everyone stopped wearing them and I absolutely love them. I still have all my puffy headbands and I will still wear them. And so I feel like that's how it's gonna be with hair bows where in a year everyone's gonna hate it, but that's the best thing about fashion is you can wear whatever you want, even if it's outdated because also like who's gonna say hair bows are outdated? Like, no. No, they are not. The next trend I absolutely loved this year were baby tees. And it really is just a crop top. I had gotten two from Depop that were originally from Brandy Melville. I had seen baby tees like Heaven by Marc Jacobs, Unif, and that kind of thing. And that style of top, which is very reminiscent of early 2000s, but in a different way. It's honestly one of my favorite fits of a t-shirt, which is so funny because I love my loose fitting graphic tees. I wear them all the time, but it has been nice to kind Kind of dabble in a different style of top and I now have like four in that kind of style in that baby tee even this I would it's not a baby tee it's actually a little bit longer but it's just the fit with my graphic t-shirts I would tuck them in and a lot of times you would lose the graphic whereas with the baby tee graphic tee it's designed for the graphic to be right here and obviously
obviously because it's cropped it doesn't go past that so you get the like full graphic on it and I am just seriously obsessed the next trend I guess would be kind of like a 2021 trend 2022 trend ish and that is cowboy boots I'm definitely late to the bandwagon but I don't care I think that's what I like a lot of times to do with trends because then I get to really see do I actually like it or am I only liking it because it's in the heat of the trend and even when I do that sometimes still I end up getting influenced and like making a mistake and I mean I made an entire video about trends I regret buying but I did get a proper pair of cowboy boots and I am really in love with them. I feel like the whole reason why I didn't like them is because number one, any cowboy boot I had tried was never in the right size. I'm like a proper size nine and a half, but I can do a nine and I can do a 10 depending on what shoe. Like with Doc Martens, I'm a nine, but then with other shoes, I'm a 10. But it seems like with cowboy boots across the board, I'm a nine and a half. And I kept getting cowboy boots that were a size 10 and so they weren't comfortable. I never wanted to wear them. And also number two, letting go of wanting my feet to look smaller. Like, isn't that the stupidest thing in the entire world? It's just from like being a kid and everyone having like size six feet to where I just like had this insecurity, but like their feet, who cares? They're going to look what size they are no matter what shoe I put on. So the whole pointed toe thing, I always rejected so much because I didn't want my feet to look longer, but literally don't care and I'm so happy I am like letting go of that because I'm really enjoying my cowboy boots and I'm so excited going into 2023 and rocking them. The next one is the whimsy goth aesthetic. I was trying to like figure out a specific like thing within it but I was like no it's just the whimsy goth aesthetic and I wouldn't say this style is like brand new. Maybe it was a couple years ago but I hadn't heard about it until 2022. That's also because I didn't create a TikTok until 2022. So my eyes have been like open to different aesthetics and all that jazz. And I freaking love this aesthetic. I am a lover of 90s fashion and I feel like it really tugs on like my favorite parts of 90s fashion. A lot of dresses, darker colors. I made an entire video thrifting whimsy goth aesthetic outfits and I just had so much fun with that video. I don't obviously dress head to toe in it, but it makes me feel inspired and I love all the pieces that I had thrifted in that video. So overall, big fan of Whimsy Goth. <laughs> this style of top wasn't new, but I just feel like summer 2022, I saw it a lot more, which are tube tops. And again, like I don't think tube tops have ever gone out of style. I feel like they've always just kind of existed, but I felt like I just saw them a lot more this summer and I had gotten a black tube top and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like the idea of a tube top for me, I'm always thinking about like, okay, in real life, like how annoying is it gonna be to have to like pull up my tube top? And surprisingly, if you get a tube top that's actually like the right size for your chest, it's amazing. And I felt like it was one of my favorite pieces during the summer, especially when it was so hot and I just really, really love it. And I wanted to mention it. I only have one tube top. It's my black one. And to me, it's just classic. It goes with everything and I will continue to wear it. I don't think it's like necessarily like a core part of my personal style, but it's just a piece I really like owning for the summer months now. Another trend that I actually talked some smack about is the leather bomber jacket. And I was thinking when it comes to bombers, like these types of bombers, and that for me just reminds me of a time when I would wear ones like that. And it's just, it's not me. But then I started seeing like leather, like vintage bombers. And I was like, oh, I can get behind that. And actually my friend Carrie had thrifted a leather bomber that ended up not working for her. So she gave it to me and I love it so much. It's such a comfy fit. I wore it last night to dinner because it was raining and it was so warm. So big lover of of the leather bomber and I feel like it takes a lot for me not to wear my black leather blazer and the fact that I've been opting to wear that is a big deal. This particular trend I actually had gotten at the end of 2021 and I remember getting comments of oh, sorry I should probably say what it is it is the denim maxi skirt um I had worn it in a video and so many people were like oh it just reminds me of like the church girls and I had never associated a denim maxi skirt to 
church. So I think that's why I was more open to it. And going into 2022, I feel like a lot of people still hated the denim maxi, but it started becoming more like accepted to where I feel like most people like a denim maxi skirt now and it is honestly amazing. I love mine. It just is a nice different way to wear denim. I really 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 want a light wash one because the one that I have is dark wash and I love it but I would love a light wash like something like this wash. So fingers crossed 2023. And so technically I don't think I necessarily had gotten it because it was a trend in 2021, but I feel like I maybe then wore it a little bit more in 2022 because more people, no, I was still like wearing it. If anything, I was wearing it more because people were saying how much they hated it. And then again, everyone was like, oh no, I really like the denim maxi skirt now. And yeah, I'm not trying to be like, I'm not like other girls and I was wearing the denim maxi trend before everyone else's. Cause I'm sure I saw someone on Pinterest wearing it and was like, oh, that is cute. And that's why I ended up getting it. So yeah. All right, now on to the worst trends of 2022. Again, worst trends. For the first one, it is newspaper pattern. And I actually didn't really notice this was a trend until I had watched someone's video talking about how they didn't like the newspaper pattern trend. And then once I like saw that, I then saw it everywhere. And I feel like it's one of those trends that like really popped off and then like quickly like went down very fast, which I'm actually quite surprised because it's not that I hate this trend. I feel like it was probably a really good one and that it's black and white, it's gonna go with everything. I feel like it actually would have been a good one to be very versatile, especially when you compare it to like the bright colored wavy pattern trend of 2021. But maybe it's because it was so in your face that it ended up like not continuing as much. I mean, if you absolutely love the newspaper pattern trend, please let me know. Cause I feel like I haven't seen anyone wear it in person, but I was at the thrift store the other day and I saw something with the pattern. Personally, the reason why I don't like it is just cause I would never wear it. It just isn't a pattern that's super appealing to me, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I will say I don't have a lot of like hot take opinions on trends and fashion specifically in clothing, but I do with shoes and it took everything in me to not make this list just of shoes. I think I have like more just opinion about it for some reason. I don't know, I really love shoes, but I guess I also really hate shoes. So I tried to not put too many, but this one are the clogs. And here's the thing, I think clogs look interesting, the like bubble clogs from Jeffrey Campbell, their platform look super fun. But again, when I think of in reality, how? I just don't think I like a shoe where it doesn't have backing. Sandals are kind of different, but also I don't like wearing sandals. I really only wear sandals when I go to the beach because I'm going to be taking them off. Other than that, I don't ever wear sandals because I don't like there not being a backing because I fall a lot. So this is more in just like a me thing that I feel like they would slide off my feet because my feet also get really sweaty. I really love all of the colors. I think they're really fun and could add so much to an outfit truly, but just realistically for me, I could never wear them. The whole headphone as an accessory thing has been very interesting. <laughs> Remembering when you're a kid and you had those big headphones. Well, I guess when I was a kid, we didn't have big headphones. They were still like pretty like skinny headphones. They were like smaller, but even just seeing the like transition of that to then like little earbuds to then wireless buds to then people then going back and wearing the normal one. It's just been an interesting thing to watch in my lifetime. And the thing is, I, again, don't think the big headphones are bad. They definitely serve a purpose in that they're headphones. So I feel like to an extent with what you're paying sometimes, it makes sense because they are headphones. It's not just an, it's like an addition to the accessory. Although like the AirPod Max is like, that is an insane price. But I also understand like when you're going on a plane, I actually had the big Beats headphones. If you remember when Apple would give those away for free for students when they bought a laptop, I had some and they were great. They did exactly what they needed to do, but I get migraines. So headphones like that put a lot of stress on my head and I end up getting a migraine. So for me, that's why it's the worst trend because 
I 100% cannot be part of it because of my migraine. So interesting enough, maxi skirts were like, I guess they were on trends list for 2022. When I did all my like different thrifting seasonal fashion trends, whether it was like spring, fall, summer, whatever the heck, that's where I'm getting all of these trends from those past videos. And I saw obviously maxi skirts, like the denim maxi skirt, but I saw micro minis and I saw a lot of people wearing micro minis and I just can't, <laughs> understand how to wear them because even a mini skirt is like that's a lot for me to be wearing that out so then a micro mini skirt maybe it's because i also have quite long legs like my height is in my legs that that idea it's literally like i'm wearing just my underwear which is the look but i just don't really love it on me i have seen people taking the micro minis and putting it over like pants or like another skirt or styling it in that kind of way so not just by itself and i feel like that's fun i think that's cool again though i just like wouldn't really style them in that they don't go with my personal style. A lot of trends sometimes are more just for like taking photos. Like they look really good in photos and maybe feel really comfortable wearing it in a photo. But then when you try to take them into daily life, it just doesn't translate the same. And I feel like the micro mini is kind of that, unless that's your like style already, then I think it probably is just completely normal and you're doing your thing and wearing an amazing outfit. But it would be like, oh, it looks good in a photo, but I'm never gonna actually wear this. And I don't want to do that. I wanna like thrift the clothes that I'm actually gonna wear and not just for a photo. The last worst trend is ballet flats. And uh, okay, here's the thing. I think ballet flats are beautiful, especially like when people have like ribbon with them. I think they're so cute, but I've been trying to thrift some ballet flats and anytime I see some, I'm like, oh, I should get them because I really want ballet flats. And then I'm like, I just don't think I would wear it. There's something about the style of the shoe that just, I would never gravitate towards. And I've seen a lot of people with the Miu Miu ballet flats that are, again, absolutely beautiful, but I think they're like a satin material and I'm just like, what if you accidentally step in a puddle or it gets dirty? Like how, how do you wash it? I feel like in my video again, sorry, I keep bringing up old videos. In my trends I regret buying, somebody had commented that they have come to the like conclusion and I guess like acceptance that there are trends that they like specifically on other people. And it's nothing about like confidence or like self-esteem. It's just truly you end up never wearing them. And that is totally okay. And that's how I feel about ballet flats. I think super flat shoes in general for me just don't work, which is ironic because I have completely flat feet. So flat shoes should in theory work for me, but no, I need just a little bit of chunk, not too much platform, but a good amount. So I think that's also why every time I think of getting ballet flats, I'm like, no, I don't think I'm gonna wear them. And I truly think it's because it's just way too thin at the bottom. Hopefully you all enjoyed me just chatting, rambling, and it'll be interesting in that like maybe next year, all of the trends that I think were the worst or that I hated maybe end up being like my, well, I really don't see myself getting into micro minis. It's just nice to also look back at these videos and see like what the trends were and how things have changed or how they've become even more of a trend in the new year, which let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please be nice to me. And if you'd like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.